It's a little past 4.30 in the morning, and Captain Fred Sellaboy is preparing for another day on the water. It's the second last day of this year's snow crab season. Sillaboy's crew, Billy Gugu and Jamie LeDrew, prepare to shove off from the wharf in Shetakan. Today's destination, about 10 miles into the choppy Gulf of St. Lawrence and the lucrative snow crab fishery. I got six up here, six here, seven here, and seven there. That makes 26 traps to pull, another 26 to bait and set. It will be a long, hard day. With the sun now peeking over the eastern horizon, they pull up the first buoy. Jamie and Billy use a motor to reel in as much as 300 feet of line before the trap reaches the surface. Down one crew member today, Captain Sillaboy, a veteran of 26 years on the water, comes back to help muscle the trap into place. A full trap can weigh as much as 800 pounds. The season has been a good one for Buck and Keg. The Department of Fisheries and Oceans increased the quota this year, and prices are high, more than $5 a pound on average. Gugu and Ledru follow regulations by tossing back any crabs under a certain size. What they keep adds a significant source of revenue for Buck and Keg. Last year, the snow crab and lobster fishery combined made a profit of only $75,000. This year will be much more profitable. It's money that goes back to the community to help fund programs. We recognize, you know, as council, the efforts of our fishers, and uh, it's not easy work. Um, it's quite hard and extensive work, early hours, and, you know, they're out in some waters that at times can be quite rough. What it provides is uh, an invaluable source of revenues for the community. That's where the money goes, but where do the crabs go? Well, more than 80% of the harvest is exported to the United States, where consumers pay good dollar for the crab's tender and delicate meat. Exports also go to countries like Japan, China, and Vietnam. But here in Western Cape Breton, the native fishery is also a boost to the local economy. In Shetakamp, it's welcome business for motel owner Kenneth Fraser. But it's uh, it's really good. It, you know, they eat in the restaurants, they, they, they book motel rooms, they, and they gas up their rigs. It's really good, yeah. Picto Landing First Nation also fishes crab out of Shetakamp. As they unload another day's catch, fresh ice keeps the crabs chilled. Then it's off to the processing plant on the same wharf. Meanwhile, the crew of Mac boys, tired after a long day on the water, returned to port with about two tons of snow crab. It was a good day and a great season. Dad makes good money on it. And, uh, uh, during the Christmas time, they uh, provide uh, loans to everybody that uh, needs a loan for Christmas time. I love being out on the water. It's, you know. Can't get anything better than that. So another season comes to a close for this important fishery, a source of revenue and a source of pride for the Mi'kmaq fishermen of Buckingham. I'm Richard Perry in Shetakamp.